Thank you, Senator Honasan. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. Um, kay Secretary Gazmin, when were you informed na may ganong pangyayari na sa Mama Sapano? Your Honor, I was not informed about the Mama Sapano incident. I learned about this uh, when I was in Sambuanga uh, about 11, 11 o'clock. Uh, I was not even clear that it was Mama Sapano. I, I knew there was a, I was informed that there was uh, an encounter between the MILF and the SAF. Sino pong nagkwento sa inyo? Uh, I believe it was uh, General Guerrero, uh, the West Mincom commander, when we were in Sambuanga, uh, uh, the air base of the 3rd Air Division. Um, how about kayo, Secretary Mar? Kailan niyo po nalaman itong insidente? Uh, una kong na may natanggap po akong text, uh, mga alas ocho or just before alas ocho ng umaga, na merong uh, skirmish or firefight uh, sa pagitan ng uh, MI at saka ng SAF. Uh, so, it was in the parang ordinary course of business na text na ganito nangyayari. Wala namang akong alam na merong operasyon na nangyayari uh, sa sa araw o sa oras na yon. So, uh, uh, pinasa ko po ito na please look into this. Tapos nag-take off na kami uh, patungong uh, Sambuanga. Uh, sometime pag landing, mga 10, 10.30, uh, uh, nakita ko si uh, General Inking who is the uh, DIPO so, uh, nag, nagsimula na ako ng tanong na what's happening, ano nangyayari. Uh, can you look for General uh, Napenas? Uh, kasi SAF ang, uh, ang nabanggit doon. Sino ho yung nag-text sa inyo? Uh, I will go through my, uh, my record. Bro. Siguro, while you're um, checking your um, text messages, um, kay General Katapang, kailan nyo ho nalaman yung operation? I was uh, texted by uh, Director Purisima, Director General Purisima at about uh, 5.30 in the morning. Um, di ba ho, General Katapang, Secretary Mar, Secretary Gazmin, noong January 25, magkakasama ho kayo sa Zambanga. Tama po ba? Tama po. At from what time to what time ho kayo nasa Zambanga? Take off namin ni uh, Sec Balls kasama ang Pangulo. Mga 8.30. 8.30, mga 8.30, 8.45. Two hours roughly. So mga 10.30, 10 ang dating. Uh, bumalik na kami rito mga alas 9. 9 media. Uh, around 9 o'clock. Uh, at that time. May log, may log naman doon sa airport kung anong oras uh, dumating ang mga aeroplano. K kayo po, General Katapang? Uh, we were in a separate uh, plane, Your Honor. We were riding a C-130. Uh, we left about uh, 0 0600 uh, together with uh, our officers and uh, we were joined by uh, Secretary Soliman and uh, Secretary Boots Abad, Your Honor. Sino pa ho yung iba niyong kasama sa Zamboanga? Since you already mentioned um, Secretary Abad, Secretary uh, Dinky Soliman, sino pa ho yung kasama dun sa Zamboanga? Uh, of course, uh, General Guerrero and my, the other generals and uh, we were able to came early to meet up with the president and talk about the Sambuanga bombing. We were there for, for a discussion on the Sambuanga bombing, Your Honor. Kayo, Secretary Gazmin, sino pa ho yung kasama nyo papunta ng Sambuanga? Ang kasama ko po papunta ng Sambuanga, si Secretary Mar. Si 
Sino pa ho? Hindi ho, nung January, nung Sunday, sino ho kasama niyo papuntan sa Buanga? Ang Pangulo, magkasama ho kami ni Seth Bolts. So kayong tatlo ho yung magkakasama sa eroplano? At saka yung mga staff ng Pangulo. So since magkakasama na ho kayo on that day, and um, si Gerald Katapang po, eh, 5.30 pa lang, alam niyo na ho, um, meron ho ba sa inyo nagsabi sa Presidente, uh, for example, nakakuha na ho kayo ng text, Secretary Mar at 8 o'clock, While you were on the plane, nabanggit niyo ho ba sa presidente na, Sir, mukhang may uh, ganitong pangyayari na nangyayari sa Mama Sapano? Uh, hindi na pag-usapan sa aeroplano. Ang dating nung text sa akin, it was, it's an isolated uh, uh, event. So, uh, minarapat kong alamin muna kung ano yung nangyayari bago i-elevate sa, sa level ng uh, Pangulo. Uh, base na rin ho dun sa sinabi niya, 10.30, may nakausap na ho kayo. So, who informed the President among the three of you about what was really happening in Maguindanao? Yung nakausap ko po is uh, si tinatanong ko kay General Inking, PNP, PNP uh, uh, Director, two-star uh, Inking, uh, ano ba nangyayari? Kasi siya yung uh, DIPO, uh, Integrated uh, Police Operations, Director for Integrated Police Operations of that area. And he was in Sambuanga uh, precisely to brief us doon sa bombing uh, sa Sambuanga City. Di ba, ang tanong ko, Secretary Mar, di ba, you got information about the incident. When did you tell the President? Or when did you inform the President na may ganong nabubuong problema sa Mama Sapano? Hindi ko ma... Hindi ko mabigay kung anong uh, oras or minuto. Uh, pagdating ho namin, diretso kami sa... Briefing doon sa sa Air Force ano pa ngan? Ebuen, Ebuen na Air Force Base. The the briefing was going on sa housing, so parang kung ano na nangyare sa housing para doon sa Sambuanga sa Sambuanga housing. So wala ng sagot si Presidente when you mentioned it. I don't recall. Um, Secretary Gasmin, kayo ko, you found out 11 a.m. Did you talk to the President and informed him? Hindi, hindi, hindi ko po sinabihan ng Pangulo dahil unang-una, ang nareceive kong information, nagkaroon ng encounter ang SAF at saka MILF, to me, there was no sense of urgency. Pang-araw-araw na report yung natatanggap kong ganyang encounter. Until uh, after dumada, dumadating yung dating ng report na nagmamount yung casualties. But uh, <laughs> earlier, wala akong, hindi ko nasabihan ng Pangulo dahil, as I've said, this is a PNP operation. Pero di ba parang medyo delikado na nga yung sitwasyon dahil uh, maapektuhan nga ho ito nung, nung peace process. Pero ang dating ho sa inyo, it was just an ordinary... Uh, business for AFP and PNP na nagbabarilan ho sila sa Mindanao? Wala pa hong involvement ng uh, AFP doon. Uh, it was the uh, Philippine National Police. But did you ask General Katapang kung ano hong nangyayari? We were all together. Um, magkakasama ho kayo dun sa kwarto. Did you uh, approach General Katapang and ask him na, General, parang may nakuha akong report na may ganitong encounter and apparently si General Katapang received a text from General Purisima asking for help. Hindi niyo ho ba siya kinausap? Hindi umabot sa akin yung humihingi ng tulong ang uh, PNP. Pero alam niyo na ho na may nangyayari. Did you encounter, ever... Encounter, yung uh, sinabi... You know, may encounter ho nangyayari. Didn't you ever... Hindi niyo ho ba tinawagan si General... Hindi niyo ho nilapitan si General Katapang para sabihin sa kanya, General, may natanggap ako na parang may ganitong encounter daw na nangyayari dito sa ma Mama Sapano. Hindi niyo ho siya tinanong kung ano ba talaga to. Dahil galing na rin ho sa kwento niya, eh parang... Ang gulo-gulo ng mga nare-receive nyo information. And I think General Katapang is the best person to give you the correct information. Hindi nyo ho siya nilapitan nung magkakasama ho kayo sa Zamboanga from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m.? Hindi ho. 
So hindi, hindi niyo siya kinonsult? Hindi, kasi tuloy-tuloy ho yung schedule ng briefing eh. tungkol sa Sambuanga bombing and the uh, uh, housing rehabilitation project in Sambuanga. So kayo din ho, hindi niyo rin ho binanggit na sa presidente? So, kung hindi niyo ho sina... Kung, kunya, Secretary Mar, you didn't tell the President. Secretary Gasmin didn't tell the President. And I think, General Katapang, hindi niyo rin ho sinabi based from your um, statements yesterday. Tama po ba? Madam Chair, Your Honor, yes. Hindi ko rin po in-inform si Presidente. So, sino ho nagsabi sa Presidente na may ganitong pangyayari? Kung um, you compose, you already compose majority of the security cabinet cluster and not one of you even mentioned to the President that there's already this big problem in Maguindanao. Ma'am, if I may know. Ma'am, we did not know that this was a big problem because we did not know that there was even an operation going on at that time po. So, so in other words, no? Kung alam ko that there was 390 mahigit that was going to undertake an operation, any small information, then magtitrigger yan ng, ng thinking. Pero ang araw-araw, may mga nagputukan dito, nagputukan doon, nagputukan. Hindi, so hanggat nalaman namin late in the day, late in the afternoon, in fact, I, I think, General Napeñas, kailan na tayo nag-usap? Anong oras na tayo na nakapag-link up na ano ba nangyayari? Do you have a... Uh... Hindi ko ma-recall, uh, sir, but... Uh, but before lunch, after lunch? Uh, I, I... Yung text message po na natanggap ko, kaling kay uh, General Spina, sir. Tignan ko lang, sir. Andilita. 11, something like 11, sir, eh. In fact, we were trying to find out the scale and the scope of the problem yes, until much later in the day. Mga anong oras po? I, I, what, do you know? Ito po, sir. Ma'am, alam nyo yung scale na nag-text nga ako ko ke... I may recall, sir, ha, po na po yun eh. Na medyo nagulat, sir, galing ko yata sa inyo. Parang you... Parang pinako-confirm, ano ba ito? 11 daw ang patay na. Parang something like that, sir. Tapos sabi ko, ano ba, uh, nag-text ako, sir, kay na Peñas. Ano ba itong nabalitaan doon? Labing isa na yung, labing isa yung patay. Talaga, ma'am, hindi na alam yung scale. Anong ako. time frame mo na? Hapo na po yun, eh. Mga more or less po. Mga three na siguro, ma'am, yun, eh. You inform... Alam niyo na ho yung Secretary Mar na gano'n, parang Nam may 11 na namamatay by 3 so, o'clock. So tinatanong ko, anong, anong nangyayari dito na labing isa na ang namamatay? So tinatanong natin kung anong nangyayari. And based din ho din sa statement niyo, from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m., kasama niyo ho yung Presidente, tama po ba? So 3 o'clock you already knew na parang 11 na yung namamatay and you did not even talk to the President about it? T towards the end, uh, doon nga, nagsimula na bumubuo yung larawan na medyo matindi ito, malaki ito. So, doon nga, siguro, nagsim hindi ko alam kung anong oras yung nagsimula yung, yung conversation na nabanggit kanina na give them support or yung, na yung nababanggit kanina ni uh, West Mincom uh, uh, Rusty, General Rusty. Yung, do you know what time? Uh, that, that was your, your honor that that's, that was about uh, 1700 or 5 o'clock pm mubuo na around mid afternoon 3 4 na medyo malawak ito by that time na sabihan na yung pangulo nagbigay ng guidance ng pangulo so I guess kasi my time is up one last question di ba mga 3 o'clock huto so who approached the president and told him sir kailangan na natin pag-usapan to kasi parang who broke the news to the president that uh, by 3 o'clock, 11 already died. Hindi naman ho, pwedeng nagpulong-pulong kayo bigla doon. I mean, paano ho kayo nagpulong-pulong doon kung hindi isa sa inyo magsasabi sa presidente na may ganun-ganun ng pangyayari? So who among you informed the president? Wala ho? Um... Wala pa din ho.